Hi, I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, and hot diggity, another unboxing video. Now, I've used my oscilloscope quite a bit on the uh, channel to show various things. It's a great way to show what waveforms look like and and uh, it, we can determine what's happening with radios just like we did with those DMR radios. Great tool. Well, a companion tool to that is a signal generator or these days a uh, arbitrary function generator. In other words, a signal generator. Um, I got this little thing as a sort of a, a kit well, sort of a kit, it was a kit, FG085 Mini DDS Function Generator with, uh, out much of a, a, any kind of a brand name on it. Um, it was very easy to put together, except I put in one of the switches backwards, and that was a mess getting fixed. Um, but this doesn't really do the job for amateur radio. Uh, it'll go up, oh, a few hundred kilohertz. But I need something to go up into the megahertz region. So that's where this comes in. First of all, I discovered by listening to the videos that describe this thing that it's not, it's not Rigol. It's Regal. Okay, fine. Regal. We'll try and call it Regal from now on. This is a Regal scope. It's the 1054... Uh, Z, 1054 Zulu scope, which is an entry-level scope, but it's an entry-level as in fully capable uh, scope. Now, what we've got here is an entry-level uh, signal generator, not entry-level like this one. Uh, I mean, one that can really do the job and go up to uh, 25 megahertz, and we're going to be using that uh, to troubleshoot radios, see how things work, and so on. So this was sent to me from um, Jonestown, Pennsylvania uh, via FedEx ground and it actually got here very quickly. There's a little uh, packing slip. Let's just take a look at it here. And what the packing slip says, and it's got all kinds of sticky things on it here. Uh, master packing slip. Uh, one Regal DG1022 Zulu, uh, 25 megahertz arbitrary function Jenna. Okay, great. Now let's uh, open her up and see what we've got. It's always fun to open the box. Hopefully the box, the size of the box is, correlates with the size of what's inside. Oh boy, you know what we're revealing in here? <laughs> Another box. So let's take this box out by simply putting this box upside down and lifting it off to give us this box right here. So packing it in two nested boxes. This is the DG1022 Zulu serial number so-and-so Regal Technologies in China. Okay, and so it's called a waveform generator. Uh, let's see what's inside here. I'll bet there's styrofoam. I don't like styrofoam. Yeah, there's styrofoam. Okay, what we've got on top is some instructions and they do this in Chinese and then English. After all, they are making these for the Chinese domestic market too. And we'll do that same trick to see if we can pull this out here. And we do, although it is upside down. So we'll turn it back right side up, or is it upside down? Yeah, this is the right way for it, okay? We have in here some bags. This is, you know, I suppose with this knife I have, I could cut this open. We have a 
This is a USB, and it's the traditional type of USB. This is the main thing that goes in. It's a, a USB 2.0. Note that there are um, little uh, choke uh, chokes on the uh, chokes, ferrite chokes on the side. This is the AB cable, which was the very first kind of cable that was ever visited. And if you have an HP printer, you've likely seen one. In this little plastic bag, which comes apart, we have a single uh, lead for uh, getting stuff out of the scope. Now, I will note that it is designed to have a B and C connector on each end. Now the B and C connectors have got a long and storied history in instrumentation. They're very easy to put on. They keep what's inside inside pretty well. They lock on so they can't get yanked out. And uh, the thing with the screw on connection is it is possible to not get it screwed on all the way or something like that. Okay, so we have that. Now, uh, we have a power cord here too. It's a computer style power cord. Okay, and let's see if there's anything extra in here. No, not really. It's just the instructions. No DVD or anything. Okay, well, let's take the actual function generator out. It certainly is protected. Um, unlike this, which is not very deep, the signal generator is quite deep. Let's open up the stuff here. Okay, we've got silica gel. Wow. And a little sticker here. It says, if you open it, you void the warranty. Now, this thing comes with a handle. You have to pull it out to put it at various levels. You can pick this up by the handle. If you pull it out like this, you can put it at, at all sorts of sizes. Like, for example, you might want it there so that you can use the signal generator. So this is the Rigol. Regal, I'll get that right eventually. Regal um, LXI two channel DG1022 Zulu uh, scope. It has uh, buttons on here that are rather smaller than the buttons that are on the oscilloscope. Okay, so this is sort of their entry level signal generator, it goes up to 25 megahertz, and this is their entry level oscilloscope which goes up to about 50 megahertz, okay? Now, so it's got a long body. It's almost the size of an old HF radio that, uh, that I used. And on the back are channel one sync for external modulation or trigger, channel two sync for external modulation or trigger, uh, 10 megahertz in and out so that you can, um, synchronize this thing with GPS, there is an, a standard um, internet connector right there. Um, and then there's the uh, connector to the uh, computer that can go right there. By the way, this also has the connection to the network, the connection to the computer, and the little uh, trigger. This is trigger out. So this trigger out can go to this trigger in so that when this starts an odd waveform, it starts this thing at the same time. And you can get them uh, down to the point where uh, you'll be able to see it beautifully. Okay, now on the little screen here, we've got um, out. Again, these are BNC connectors and they only give me one. Um, this thing came with four scope probes whereas this only comes with one um, output cable. There's another output cable, yellow-blue, although that's really more cyan. Uh, and then this one right here is a counter. It's a counter, okay? 
So you can choose which goes to which here. There's a knob for fine tuning. I see buttons for sine square, ramp, pulse, noise, and an arbitrary waveform. Now an arbitrary waveform is something that you developed in a computer, just whatever you want. And uh, it can be very similar to something that uh, uh, you see a glitch, looks like a glitch of some kind, a noise spike, whatever. You can simulate that here and then run that through your system and see what goes on. The um, tiny dinky little on-off switch is right down here. It's a rocker switch. And this USB connector right here is for a thumb drive. If you put a thumb drive in there, you can capture uh, like what's on the screen. That's what this thing does. When I show screen captures, they come from this. There's the little uh, connector down here. I put an up to 8 gigahertz, not bigger, uh, thumb drive in here. And then all I have to do is push a button, poof, and a picture of the screen is put down over here. So I assume that this is going to be uh, very similar. Well, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to uh, testing it and giving you some more information on it and then using it in videos. We can look at things like uh, filters, we can troubleshoot radios, um, just all kinds of things. Another thing that this does is uh, when you dig under the covers, I saw this in the video, we can do things like uh, emulate an AM transmitter or um, FMing and things like that and actually show what they look like over here on the oscilloscope so we can learn things about AM, FM, all different kinds of waveforms. One of the waveforms built into this among the 200 is one that looks like a human heartbeat. So that must mean it's alive. Thank you so much for watching. This is KE0OG. Please use both feet when walking and please subscribe, click like, click share. Also go to dcastler.com support to see various ways that you can support Ham Radio Answers. Until we next meet, use both feet when walking and 73.